Traverse City's Joshua Davis is just a few hours away from taking the stage for the next round of live performances on NBC's The Voice. And only 10 artists are left in the competition. All of them will perform tonight. Two will go home tomorrow. Seven and Four's Kristen Lowe is out in sunshiny, beautiful Hollywood, California. She joins us live from the set of NBC's The Voice. All right, Kristen, how's Hollywood? <laughs> Hey, Mark. Hey, Megan. Yes, we are live outside of The Voice in Los Angeles, and I am joined by the one and only Joshua Davis. Joshua, thank you so much for being here with us. Now, everyone at home has been rooting for you from, from their couches, from their Twitter feeds, from their Facebook. But I think what people really want to know is, what's an average day like for you in L.A. when you've made it this far on a show like this? Yeah, it's, it's totally crazy. First of all, you know, the support from home has been totally amazing. I've, I've been floored. Um, but I've been, uh, you know, an average day is, is you know, waking up early, uh, getting out, you know, to the studio, to, to the to the lot, like at seven, and um, rehearsals, vocal lessons, uh, coaching rehearsals, wardrobe, shooting B-roll, uh, and it goes until like 10:30 at night. It's nonstop song selection, on-camera rehearsal, off-camera rehearsal. It's amazing, but but it's it's been such an incredible experience to be able to work with the coaches here, work with uh, the other contestants. It's a big family. It's been really wonderful. Now, speaking of that, you know, unlike many of the other contestants, you have been doing this for a while. What is one thing that Coach Adam has, how has he challenged you and changed you as a performer? I think one of the things, I mean, the thing that I didn't realize about Adam before I came out here is that he's really well well schooled in music. He he takes a scholarly approach to music, which is what I do. He's really well versed. Um, he knows his stuff, and um, his big thing is is you have to own it. You know, we all have flaws. We all have my voice isn't perfect, but those are the things about our 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 voices are whatever you do. You know, you you, you know you as a human being even. Uh, that is that is special. So you got to own your flaws. You got to own you know those quirks, and that's the thing is, is owning it. So that's what I'm trying to do here is, is is own who I am and what I put out there. That's great advice. Now I think one of the things that people love the most about you is that you're a family man. <laughs> a lot of times, you know, when you're on stage, they'll cut to your wife and your kids. Tell tell us what that means that you can go through this experience and have them by your side and. What do you want, you know, your daughter's old enough to know what's happening. Yeah. What do you want her to take from this experience? Oh, you know, I mean, the big thing is, you know, she's nine years old mm -hmm. and uh, she goes to Willow Hill and it's been it's been hard for her to miss miss school and come out here, but it's been yeah. wonderful that she's been able to. Uh, but, you know, t the takeaway for her, I'm hoping, is that, you know, she sees her dad has been has been working hard at something that he loves to do, mm -hmm. you know, for his entire life. And, you know, now she sees him being successful at it. Um, and, you know, I've been I've made this a career for a long, long time, for over 15 years. But this is a really big stage, and it's a big deal. Um, and so to show her that hard work and doing something that you love really pays off, because I feel like too many people, um, you know, uh, get on that path, but then they, they, get, they get, you know, cut off of it by somebody saying no or somebody saying you're not good enough or whatever, you know, but just staying at it keeping in that thing and working so hard at it and you know here's here's where we are and you're such a wonderful example to her <laughs> i'm rooting for you all of northern michigan is rooting for you joshua break a leg tonight thanks so much thanks for your support back to you guys in the studio oh uh, boy you know if only if only joshua could know the, the feedback you know he's out know. there uh, but just even around town everyone pulling and rooting and as soon as he takes the stage on Twitter and Facebook everyone's like good luck I can't believe I can't believe it so, so much excitement there really is and and Kristen's gonna be out there for the excitement for the rest of the night tonight and through the results show tomorrow hopefully Joshua punches his ticket on to next week so we will have continuing coverage uh, of all the excitement today and tomorrow uh, both here on the air with Kristen live in in LA as well as on our uh, on our uh, uh, up North Live Facebook page as well as on the website. Sure will, and we are rooting for you, Josh. Absolutely. <laughs> Reminder you can.